Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to play X's and O's by L. King. For this song, I'm going to take you through three different sections. We're going to learn some chords, a strumming pattern, and also that main riff. Before we get into the lesson, make sure to hit the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. We've got new video lessons dropping every single day for you on the channel. There's hundreds of other lessons for you to check out as well. Also, check out the description below for a free PDF all about soloing. All right, let's get into the lesson. The first part we're going to learn is the riff. It sounds like this. This is based off of an E minor chord, and for the verse we'll be playing an E minor and a B7. Those are our two chords. And the riff goes over the E minor part. So we've got an open E string and then the seventh fret on the A string. This is like a low E and then an octave above that note. We're gonna do a down up on that first beat. One and two and. Then on the and a two, we're gonna play an up on the seventh fret of the low E. So we'll just bring that third finger up one string. And then we'll do another up, and then down up on the fifth fret of the A string. And that's our riff. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So one and, then the and of two, one and two and three and then the and of three and then four and so that's going to go for the first four bars of the verse we'll play it four times the melody comes in you know time, we'll go from that 5th fret down to a B7 chord. That B7 is going to be from the A string down, 2, 1, 2, 2, open, 2, B7. So 4 bars of the riff. To B7. That B7 is two bars, and I'm basically playing an eighth note rhythm here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and basing it off the rhythm of the riff. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and back to the riff for two bars. That's your whole verse. So I'll put those together four times on the riff, two bars of B7, and then two more times on the riff. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last time, B7. Back to E minor. Riff. So we're going to play that for the verse. When we get to the pre-chorus, that's where the melody is just like a one, two, three, they're going to come back to me. We're just going to play muted clicks. So we'll play like, you can play a mixture of quarter notes and eighth notes. You're just going to cover the strings and get this muted sound. And you can strum in the rhythm of the melody. So like a one, two, three, they're gonna come back to me. So that would be one, two, three, and four, and. Or down, 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 up, down, up. Then the second measure, you could do something like one, and two, and three, four. So one, and two, and three, four. So those together. A one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. So we'll play muted clicks for the pre-chorus there. And then we're going to get into the chorus. And the chorus goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
back to the riff. So for the chorus, we're gonna play one bar on each chord. We're gonna go G, two, three, four, then D, then E minor, then B7. Okay, that's our first four bars. Let me explain those chords. We've got three, two, open, open, three, three. That's how I play G. X's and the O's. This is the D chord. We'll play from the D string down. Open, two, three, two. O's, they haunt me. We'll go to E minor. This is all six strings. Open, two, two, open, open, open. So G, then to D, then to E minor. Then the last chord there is B7 in the fourth bar. That's gonna be, again, we learned it from earlier, but just to review, two, one, two, open two. Then we go back to G. Haunt me, da, 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 da. Now this time, we did G and D, just like we did the first part of the chorus. This time we're gonna go to A minor, and then C. A minor, we'll play open A, two, two, one, open. And C is three, two, open, one, zero. So all the bars of the chorus are G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, B seven. Then the second half, G, D, A minor, C. Back to the riff. So it's an eight bar long chorus progression. Now if we want to add a little bit more strumming to it, I might play something like this. play the same rhythm in every bar it's going to be two quarter notes one two and then four eighth notes three and four and a one two three and four and one two three and four and this song's got a little swing to it it's like a, you know a little medium swing there one two three and four and one two three and four and so if i put that with the progression it's going to go g minor, B7, G, D, A minor, C, then back to the riff. Now when you end, you play that riff three times and you end on the first strum, that open E in seventh fret, like this. There you go, guys. That's a breakdown of how to play X's and O's by L. King. Try it out. Sounds great on acoustic guitar. You can play it on electric as well. I hope this lesson helps you put it all together. Make sure to click the link in the description if you're interested in playing some lead like what I was doing at the beginning of this video. Also, follow along with me on Instagram at John McLennan, and we'll see you guys in another video real soon.